Okay, everybody, welcome back to the DGS2605 channel. We're back with our MLB Power Pros 2008 season mode with your Toronto Blue Jays. So, we finished off a sweep, surprise, surprise, of the Milwaukee Brewers. Got close in those first two games. Finally came up swinging the last game out. That felt satisfying, but now we got a three-game stand. Yes, three games at PNC Park against the Pittsburgh Pirates. So, we'll take a look where Pittsburgh is in the standings, the NL Central. They're at the top. They're only two games above 500. The Reds have gained on them, and even then the Brewers. Hell, even the Cardinals, who are six games below 500, are only four games back. So, this is definitely a cupcake division here. So, let's go ahead and take a look at their season stats now. Hitching, all right. Pittsburgh Pirates here this way. Ooh, the game is slowing on down. There they are. So let's go ahead. Game started. So that seems to be their five-man rotation here. They got uh, Blanton. Seems to be their A. So your A just above four. Oh, Perez. I'm assuming that's Oliver Perez. I wonder if it's the same guy who uh, played on the Mets. Ted Lilly. Oh, he doesn't look very good. Uh, Vicente Padilla. He looks pretty good, actually. Then Pavano, Carl Pavano. Uh, apparently nothing really remarkable about him. Can't control, though. That's interesting. Some of the relievers, they got Albers, A. Brown, Wolf from Padres, Brian Wolf, Blackburn, which is a good pirate name, Great Miller, Hoey, Declarman, say, Figueroa, Owens, Garcia. Okay. So that's their pitching staff. Let's go ahead and take a look at their batting. Then, uh, yeah, we'll just do that. So this means they're starting guys here. So they got Brian McCann. As catcher, seems to be their best hitter is Dan Johnson. Let's put him there, yeah, pole hitter. Sean Ellis. Mark Ellis, no. Germain. Big Bill Hall. Alfonso Soriano, Vlad Guerrero, and this Martin guy. That Martin isn't that good, but Vlad Guerrero and Alfonso Soriano. Let's take a look at any guys on their bench. Josh Hamilton is on their bench. MVP. Loretta, I don't know who this Encarnacion guy is. Juan Encarnacion looked pretty good. Miguel Cairo. Eh, not bad, more fielder. Ortemeyer, Kurt Suzuki. All right, so that's just a basic overlook at their players. Uh, they got a kind of scary outfield, actually, with Guerrero and Alfonso Soriano. We're going to have to see how we can do against them here. So who will be taking the mound? Will it be Scott Olsen? Yes, so we're going to keep Olsen here first. Then we'll be back to Roy Holiday, and then probably Oz after. So Olsen will be taking swings. They got their rookie, Bridges. And at shortstop, let's take a look at their lineup. Ellis, Hall, Guerrero, Soriano. That 2-3-4 is scary. And McCann, even there, 5. 2, 3, 4, 5. Johnson, their best average hitter. And then Barton, Bridges. So, I'd say we have to worry about 2 through 6 in that lineup. But let's go ahead and get into it. They're going to be throwing out the first pitch. We'll do the OK Blue Jays now. OK Blue Jays! Let's play ball! Only one thing to do, and that's play some baseball here. We uh, see the... Looks like the Yankees walked off the Red Sox. Or the Reds, excuse me, not the Red Sox. But anyways, going into here now. Let's see what we got. So it's going to be interesting to see PNC Park here. This is probably one of the best... You see, you can argue between here and like Wrigley Field. One of the best places to watch a game in MLB. Here's Pavano. Mid-3 ZRA. Could have sworn it was higher than that, but... Probably just made less starts. There's strike one on the slider. Right-handed... Went is heavily in the pitcher's favor. Factor of three heading southeast. I don't know if we've seen a factor of three against the hitters yet. One and one. 50 50 ball to knock our way. So he's got the fastball change up slider. Let's see what he's going to throw on one and two to Rich Aurelia. Change up again. Aurelia makes perfect contact. That's over Ellis's head, and that's a leadoff single for Rich Aurelia. He's going to need more of those if he wants to get into the All-Star game. Here's Durham, 463-2066. Strike one, another 50-50 ball. Keeping an eye over at a first base on Aurelio. Wind's still the same. Splitter. So he's got splitter, changeup, slider, fastball. Just missed the top right. Changeup, top left of the zone. Here's the 1-2. 
And he pushes that over to left. That's going to bounce a couple times. Soriano gets it. Back-to-back -back singles for your Toronto Blue Jays. Already two men on, no out. Here's Lance Berkman. 60 homers. He's two RBIs away from 150. When is it decreased to a factor of two, heading the same direction. Two seamer, one and one. One and two, change up, misses the bottom left corner. He hits that hard to left. Will it have enough on? Oh, off the wall. I thought if Soriano would get there to catch it, but instead the bases will be loaded. So base is loaded, wins still a factor two. Here's Alex Rios. Strike one on the slider. And a mistake, Rios to deep right. It's going. That is how you start off a game, ladies and gentlemen. Rios with a grand slam. The quality start went right away for Pavano. We're not even through and out yet. One pitch, one swing for Rios, and it's a 4-0 game. You're damn right that's a highlight reel replay. Even with the win, he was good thing he pushed it the other way. 4-0 Toronto. I just want you to see it's We moved it up pretty much a whole run. Here's a little now. It's not quite batting practice, guys. Stay focused. Strike one. I want to check his pitch count. Only at 15. And the change up went for a 50 50 pitch, and all three times it's been in his favor when he throws a change up. Splitter way down. One and two. One two to Lowell. Laid off the fastball inside, looking to break the bat. Count is even to 2 2. It's going to be a payoff pitch to Mike Lowell. No man on, no out, 4 nothing game. Lowell hits it, not past Bridges. Throw from deep short, got him. Kind of got a weak arm for a shortstop, but it got him nonetheless. One out, here's Luke Scott, 423-30-76. Strike one. Ball and splitter way down low. It's that nice, right to Bill Hall, over to first, two away. Now the Hall's playing third, I had him play outfield in my Mets playthrough. Here's Laduca, 407 average, he's, he seems to be comfortably above 400, but you never know. He's getting a lot of calls on the bottom part of the play, the zone I should say. Changeup's way out of there, one and two now. Pushing that, just went foul. First baseman dives for it. One and two now to Laduca. Got him looking, I think. I think that should have been ball two, but yeah, Laduca I'm sure feels the same way, but that ends the inning. But four runs on four hits, that's exactly the kind of way you want to start a game. Heading to the bottom of the first now, let's see how the lefty Scott Olson faces this lineup. He's got a 3.3 ERA. Mark Ellis. Mason played by Lowell, over to first, Ellis is a good runner, got him, one away, one pitch, one out for Scott Olson. Bill Hall, 3-1-3-1-3-6-4, that is like a game password right there. 3-1-3-1-3-6-4, wow. Got the slider, missed the sweet spot, Aurelia, over to first, two away. Vlad Guerrero, 3-0-8, 1854. Swinging out the first pitch to Lowell, over to first. And Scott Olsen is perfect through the first. Alrighty, yep, no runs, no hits, no errors. It's a tale of two teams right now. One team is perfect, one team is the opposite of perfect. Top of the second coming up, it's Curtis Granderson, 4-4-3-46-101. Swinging out the first pitch, missed it, strike one. When it's back to a factor of three, heading the same direction. 50-50 ball did not go his way for once. One-on-one -on -one count. Playing off that one, splitter, two and one now. Three and one. So if it's good, you can take a swing, you're a pull hitter. Instead, it's a five pitch walk for Curtis Granderson. And on first, no outs, here's Olsen. You know what, why not? Tell you what, Olsen, you can take one swing at it here if instead of going to a bunt. Strike one, high on the splitter. That one gets away from him, but stays in front of the catcher. One and one. Two and one now. 
Two and two here. Might as well just swing. No need to bunt on two strikes. Pushing it. Is it past shortstop? Nope. Bridges to second for one. Over to first. Olsen is safe. So we got the worst runner on between the two, of course. Here's Aurelia. One for one so far. Only six homers, 43 RBIs, but he's a leadoff guy. Ball one. That one gets away from the catcher, McCann. And Olsen's just going to jog on into second base. He got a decent amount of room back there. And a hanging pitch. That's a bouncer to Bridges. Where does he go? He goes to third, and Olsen is safe. Fielder's choice, and there's a sack fly option available for Ray Durham. The wind's still strong against the hitters. But Jays are getting in on base in spite of that. There's ball one. Missed that changeup. It was right down the middle. And Dorm hits that one to shallow left out of reach of Hull. That's 5 nothing. Olsen comes across. Now here's Berkman. Men on first and second. One out. Strike one. Just want to check his ERA. Four, almost 420. How about we get that a 6.9 before he's done? Change up missed. That was weighted towards the ball. Good thing it was called one. And Berkman read that perfectly. Is that past the shortstop bridges? Yes, it is. The bases are loaded yet again. Rios is up again. One for one with a grand slam. 125 RBIs. 444 four, four average. The win is down to only a factor of two. It's been heading the same direction all day. All night, I should say. Strike one on the splitter. Game really slowed down there. Two-seamer off the plate. Missed that two-seamer. It's one and two now. Two and two. Two-two to Alex Rios. It's going to be a payoff pitch. Bases are loaded, one out. He got him jammed. That one's going far. Let him tie up. I don't even know who's the guy on third. Him throwing it home. That was a great throw, and it got him. Can't get angry at that. That's just Vlad Guerrero's arm. But we get the uh, one run across. We're 5 for 6. They're still 0 for 0. 4 5 6, part of the lineup, and here's Alfonso Soriano. This is the guy that can mess up a lefty strike one on the fastball. Hit it off the fat part of the bat. Could have been a home run. Instead, we'll just let it be a single. Scott was perfect through an inning. And it's whatever. Here's McCann. Ready, ready matchup. Hitting that. Looking for a double play. Added second. Coming back across. Got him. Double play. Here's Dan Johnson. I don't even know what team this guy's on, default. It's ball one. Looking at his wristbands, you think the Blue Jays, but I have no idea. Nice changeup, one and two now. Pulling that for a base hit, it just gets fair. And he won't get further than the first, so second hit of the night for the Pirates. Here's Barden, two, six, seven, nine, four, nine. He's looking for that 50th RBI in that 10th home run. Isn't that slider? Pulling that to Lowell. Across to first. That ends the inning. So some good defense showed there by our infielders for the double play in that final out. They're 0 for 2 or 5 for 6. Top of the third. Here's Lowell. 0 for 1 with the grounder. 97 RBIs. It's like three more to get to the century mark. There's ball one. Win is still a factor, too. It's been heading southeast all day, all night, I should say. One and one. Splitter missed the bottom of the zone. And Lowell takes one swing up in the zone. Will it pass through the win? Yes, it will. Solo shot just made it. And it's six nothing Blue Jays. I just had a hunch, and it was a good hunch. 45th homer, 98th RBI comes across the plate. Six nothing. And I wonder how much longer they're going to keep Havano in this game. He's already getting tired at 56 pitches. And here's lefty Luke Scott. 
Hits that change up. It's going far and it's also going foul. Had enough to be a home run. So it remains a strike one. Ball one. Don't know why I just saw his pitch count. I think that that was a generous call. That could have been strike two, honestly. It's two and one now. Make that three, one. Didn't get all of it. It's going to center. Barden is there. One away. There's Loduga. Went down looking his first time up. Strike one on the splitter. Weak pitch, dead center, Loduka. Will it have enough? There it goes. Second solo shot of the day for the Blue Jays. Second home run, nonetheless. 18th home run of the season for Paul Loduka. And it is 7 0. We just blew Pavano out of the water. Yeah, he's done. He gave up 7 over 2 and a third. Here's Albers here. Let's see what Curtis Granderson can do against him. It's batting practice officially, of course, but Granderson's 0 for 0. Strike one, top right, top left corner, excuse me, with the four seam fastball. Change up missing the bottom left. He's got the fastball, the change up. Fastball again. Right call to make, pretty much a ball. Two and one. That curveball's way high and inside. Three and one now, if he gives you something, swing. Grandison swinging at that fastball. It's going to center. Will Barton be back to get it? Yes, he will. Two away. Alrighty. And it's Scott Olson now. 0 for 1 with a grounder, but did manage to come across to score. Strike one. Ball one. Ball two. Hitting that one a deep left. What a hit by o a ground rule double for Scott Olson. Holy moly. If he got on base the first time, he'd be in the hunt for a cycle. Anyway, strike one to Aurelia. I feel like that's one of the first ground rule doubles we've had all season. Anyway, Aurelia just grounded to Bridges. Over to first. That ends the inning. Hey, two for three hitting. All good. It's We're seven for nine. They're 0 for two. 8 9 1 of the Pirates lineup. Here's Bridges. Number 73. All one just missed. I'm not too worried about this kid. If he's just a rookie, he's got to have Garbo stats. Come on, just keep giving him fastballs. Ball one. Oh, man. Hitting that grounder. Durham to Berkman. One away. They're going to pinch hit for Albers here. Juan Encarnacion. Seems he likes lefties. Strike one perfectly in the corner. Bottom left, 0-1. Swing on that slider. Aurelia across. Two away. It's so only two hits through the first trip through the lineup. Here's Ellis. Strike one, 0 for 1 so far in the game. Swing at that change up, 0 and 2. Made perfect contact on that fastball. Bounces for a base hit, man on first, two out. And here's the scary part of the lineup starts. Here's Bill Hall. Strike one, lets the slider go. Read that slider perfectly. That's going to deep right. Rios ran it down. Good hit, but not good enough. One hit given up. No matter. They're 0 for 3. We're 7 for 9. Top of the fourth, and Ray Durham leads off. Here comes Del, Del Carmen. So I wonder if they're just going to have to be a bullpen again at this point. 7 nothing early on. Feels good, you know, especially after that Milwaukee f first two games against the Brewers. Feels good to be coming up swinging. First inning grand slam, two solo shots. Pitcher got a ground real double. 
Strike one. Foul back that change up, expected it to drop more. Two and two to Durham. Read that pitch well. As it goes foul. Two and two again. It's gonna be a payoff pitch. To Ray Durham, no man on, no out. Fouls off that fastball. This is going to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Durham hanging tough. And he's hitting that one left. Will it stay fair? Yes, it will. Durham got himself another single. And here's Bergman. Two for two with two singles of his own. Nearly had a home run in the first. They were keeping an eye on Durham. So that was an eight pitch at bat for Durham, and he gets a single out of it. Strike one, high fastball. And Berkman read that all the way, and it's going all the way foul. That could have been 9 0. Instead of pushing that one to deep third, Hall over to second. Durham's out, over to first. Berkman safe. So they get the slower runner of the two on. Here's Rios, one for two with a grand slam. Ball one inside. They're keeping an eye on Berkman. I can't imagine Berkman running very well. Once again, they decide, you know, we'll keep an eye on the base runners once they're already down by seven. Rios pushes that one, went foul. Would have been a double play most likely. One and two. Lay it off that. High fastball. Two and two now. It's going to be a payoff pitch to Alex Rios. Read that one perfectly. It's to dead center. Over the head of Barton. Nope. Ran back and get it. Two away. Bergman remains at first base. Here's Lowell. One for two with a home run of his own. Two RBIs away. One swing. That jammed him, though. Barton's in to get it easy. That ends the inning. So first inning, we've been shut out. 0 for 1 hitting. But we're 7 for 10. They're 0 for 3. And it's the heart of the lineup. 3, 4, 5. Let's see what Olsen can do. Guerrero swings the bat first pitch. Durham over to first. One away. One pitch, one out to start the bottom of the fourth. Alfonso Soriano. Him and Guerrero have pretty much the exact same batting average. Just 306, 307. It's ball one. Had that change up. Let it go by. Well, he swung at it, I should say. Missed the fastball. Now it's one and two. Hit to the second baseman, Durham. Over to first. Two away. Here's McCann, 289-1059. Swing at the first pitch, a high hopper. Durham goes back to get it, but plenty of time. Did Durham get all of those outs? I think he did. Anyways, three up and three down in the bottom of the fourth for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Top of the fifth coming up, Luke Scott leads off. 0 for 2, a, ground, a grounder and a flyer. Not in Philadelphia, that's another part of Pennsylvania. Ball went foul, strike one. Strike two. Ball one. Right to Hall, caught it, one away. Here's Loduga. The win is a factor of one now only, so very minimal resistance for the batter. One for two is Loduka with a solo shot. 0-2 now. Del Carmen's tired. Loduka hits that. Line to Johnson, two away. Here's Granderson, 0 for 1. Did have a five pitch walk. Strike one, top right of the corner. And he pulled that one, but did not get enough on it. Guerrero's there. That ends the inning. So how interesting up here. If Olsen goes three up and three down, I wonder if they keep Del Carmen in, because I think if they get around to him here, they pinch it for him. Here's Dan Johnson, 330. Strike one. Certainly their average hitter. The guy, as in the guy who hits for average. That one's past Olsen. Didn't make the effort. There's the fourth base hit of the night for Pittsburgh. Here's Barton. Strike one. Off the fat part of the bat. Fouled it. Pulled that to Lowell. Over to second for one. Got him at second. Will we get him at first? 
Aaron throw by Durham, but I think he would have been safe anyway. Here's Bridges batting below the Mendoza line. It's an interesting move that they called him up this early. Hit to Lowell. Gets Bridges easy at first, but that pushed up Barton to second. And they're going to be making a move here. Yep, Loretto coming in for Del Carmen. Looks like he can really hit a lefty. Fouls that one back. Just got under it. Foul that one back. Out of reach of Laduga. Get him on the slider here. And pulled again. That one's going foul. See, but I don't like how he's looking over there at second base. That one gets by uh, Loduka. Barden's over at third. So now the shutout's in jeopardy. Got him on the corner. Perfect pitch. That could have been a ball, but that is a perfect strikeout pitch there. We're through the inning. And Scott Olsen is leading off the top of the... Here comes Hoey, top of the sixth. One for two with a ground rule double. Tell you what, let's see what this guy's got. Way high fastball. Want to know? Way high changeup. 2 0. Oh. 2 and 1 on the fastball. Nice slider. But will the zone 3 and 1 just take it? Changeup inside. Looks like he's at least got a three pitch repertoire. Payoff pitch. Olsen fouls off the fastball. Stays alive to see one more. A weak pitch, and Olsen gets a hold of that one. Will it? Base hit. Olsen is looking for a cycle. He's got the single and the double. Here's Aurelia. One for three. Ball one below the zone. Very nice on the changeup. And they're keeping an eye on the pitcher of all guys on base. Guess he's already come across once, so... Really a swing at that fastball misses it. 1-1 one -on -one count now to Rich Aurelia. High changeup. I think that's a fair call, to be honest. 1-2. and two. And a mistake across the plate, but Aurelia right to Bridges. Out at second. Out at first. Double play. Here's Durham. 3-for-3 three three with three singles. Swings out the first pitch, just gets under it. It's past Bridges at short. And Durham's 4 for 4 with four singles right now. There's Berkman, 2 for 3 with two singles of his own. I'd like to remind everybody he's got 148 RBIs. Weak pitch, left field, no doubt about it. Even with the win, yeah, that's gone. Berkman, as he crosses the plate, will be 150 RBIs. It's 9-0 Toronto, his 63rd home run on the season. This is incredible right here. 9-0. And we've scored 8 of those 9 runs by home runs. Only 1 came across uh, naturally. So I pick it up and throw it to who? Naturally. So Rio still had that grand slam to open off the game. Strike one on the fastball. Strike two. Change up. That's really attacking the top left corner. Here's zone two. Missed at that time. One and two. Got him looking. Uh, whatever. We're up uh, nine nothing. So a two run shot by Berkman makes it nine nothing. We're nine for. 13. Pirates are 0 for 4. Bottom of the 6th. Here's top of the lineup. Ellis. Perfectly on the bottom left corner. Missing that slider. Here's 0 and 2. It's that past the foul line. Gets a good piece of it. Mr. Rich over to first. One away. Here's Hall, 0 for 2. Strike 1, down low. Read that change up pretty well. It's going well foul. You can see where they stopped bothering to render people in the crowd, 0 and 2. And he read that perfectly on that slider. Up the middle, man on first, one out. 
Here's Guerrero. Strike one in the sweet spot for Guerrero. Surprised he didn't swing. Swinging at that. Granderson. Got it. Two away. Now here's Alfonso Soriano. He's taking off. Hit and run. Durham over to first. Hit and run fails. That ends the inning. So one hit through six now. Still 9 nothing Toronto. We have nine outs to play with for hitting. Here's Lowell. One for three with a solo shot. Swing out the first pitch. Right to Dan Johnson. Runs in. Steps on the bag. One away. One pitch, one out. Here's Luke Scott. Tell you what. Let's see. What position is Braun? Left fielder. You know what? We're up so high right now. We have a nine run lead. We'll keep him in for the rest of the game. Swinging at the first pitch. It's going a deep right. Caught by Guerrero. Two away. There's Loduca. Weak pitch. Down and foul. Past the right field foul pole. And that up to Ellis. Over to first. That ends the inning. So seventh inning stretch. We don't really need it, but I am quite thirsty, I must say. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of good luck water. So yeah, that first inning Grand Slam by Rios really set the course for this game. We're 9-0, 9 for 13. Just got to focus on the Pirates here. Let's see if Olsen can throw the shutout. He's nine outs away. He's just got to remember that it's one, two, three strikes are out at the old ball game at PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. There's McCann, 0 for 2, a double play and a ground ball, so keeping the ball low seems to be working to him. Strike one. Get up for a big swing. Just missed his own on that. Nice pitch on the slider. 1-2. Got him swinging. Is that Olsen's first strikeout tonight? Only two. That was the second. Oh, yeah, the first one uh, he went down looking on that perfect corner. Anyways, Johnson was two for two with two singles. He is now two for three. Berkman stepped on the bag. Kind of just sounds funny out of context saying that. Barden hits that slider to center. Now will go down as a base hit. They're sixth of the game. Two out. Bottom of the seventh. Here's Bridges. Strike one. I get it. Bridges, and you see the Bridges back there. Anyways, Bridges just pulled that one well foul. Fourth row out there. Hitting that one. Durham over to first. Easy play. That ends the inning. So another single. I don't think they've got an extra base all game. Furthest they got was a guy on third, but that was it. They're 0 for 6. We're 9 for 13. Top of the eighth. Here's Granderson. Oh, he's getting tired now. Just wait on it, Grandy. Ball one. That was well below the zone. Strike one. Two and one. Count is even two and two to Granderson. It's going to be a payoff pitch with a tired pitcher. The wind's factor two. It's been heading the same direction the entire game. That one's gone. Oh, you should have walked the guy out of the park. That ball's taking a swim right now. Thanks to Curtis Granderson, we've reached double digits. 102nd RBI of the season, 47th home run. 10 nothing Toronto Blue Jays. Olsen, I got an idea. Wind's only a factor of one. Ball one. Come on, stars are lining up for him. Ball two. How oh, we give him one, man. Come on, you're tired. We know what we want to see. There he is, he's gassed. Listen in the zone, it's two and two. Olsen hit that. Will that fall for a base hit? Just barely. Olsen, three for four tonight. Two singles and a double. He had a better hitting night than a lot of her fielders, including this guy. 
It's really a facing Blackburn now. Which is the pirate name of the team. So he's got a swashbuckling slider. I better cut that out. There's a... Uh, I don't know... Oh, there's Captain Hook. I don't know. You know, between Pirates and Ninjas as a kid, I was Ninjas all the way. Never really found Pirates interesting. Anyways, here's Durham. Four, four, four singles. Hit that hard. Is that a double play? Hull? That was a double play. Great defensive effort by them, but... The one run comes across from Granderson. We're 10 for 15. They're 0 for 6. Olsen is that many outs away. Blackburn sets the leadoff batting. They're bringing in Miguel Cairo. So he never found the streets of Cairo. From the... I don't know the rest of the song. Anyways, one pitch, one out. One mistake. Here's Ellis. A lot of threes, twos, and fives in that line. 325, 533. That's going to center. Granderson is there. Two away. One for three is Big Bell Hall. 313, 13, 6, 4. Strike one, bottom part of the plate. Or part of the zone, I should say. Granderson got in front of it, which is good. That's whatever. You can't catch that. It's whatever. Kept it to a single. Guerrero is 0 for 3 today. Strike one. But he's been making contact. Oh, just got under that. Braun. Oh, I can't believe Braun caught that. The defensive liability made a great play there. 0 for 7. We're 10 for 15. Last turn, we're going to have batting. Here's Great Miller. They're bringing a lefty. You know who we have up in the lineup. Berkman, one pitch, one swing, another single. Alrighty, leadoff single for Lance Berkman. Here's Rios, one for four. Strike one. Strike two. Ball one, fastball way up high. Got him looking. Tough pitch to lay off, but oh well. Here's Lowell. Now Lowell, only swing if you know you're going to crank it. Uh-oh. Come on, Lowell, get there. We want to see Braun. Ah, well. Alrighty, so we're going to finish the batting. 10 for 16. 4, 5, 6. Olsen has to get through three guys for the complete game shutout. Soriano, 304, 1460. Strike one on the slider. Checks the pitch count. Just got to 70. And he clobbers that one into the gap. He's made a pass first. He's getting a second. Braun starts the relay. A leadoff double. So I can. And he cranks that one back to back. Extra, ba extra base hits. And that's going to end the shutout there for Olsen. 10 1. I think we call the game here for him. He's getting tired, but it's a lefty-lefty matchup. Strike one. Missing that. 0-2. That one gets away from him. Let him run a third. Pitch the slider inside. Durham. Just out of reach, and yeah, I think that's it for Olsen. Second run comes across, but hey, he pitched a terrific game. ERA 323. Gave up two runs, pitching eight innings, so that's all good. All right, Lindstrom, this is practice for an actual close. Let's pretend like we have one run lead. There's a man on first, no outs. Let's see what you got. Keep an eye on him, first of all. Okay, that is a bad omen. He got let that get away from him. Paul won. Pulled that slider, pulled the foul, thankfully. Got him on the fastball. Durham is running. Couldn't get the catch, but we'll get him out at second. So one away, one on first. Here's Bridges. This guy should be a gimme. Come on. Strike one. Oh, that ball in was fair to be a ball. Okay, two and one. Three and one. Got him swinging on that. Go for it. Slider. Add it second, but he'll stay at first. That might be the first time he's gotten on base all day. It's great Miller. Josh Hamilton. Hitting that first pitch. It's going foul into the stands. 
Hits it to short. Aurelia to Durham. That ends the ball game. 10-2. October 2nd is the final score. And once again, we won the game in the first inning. Rios' is grand slam. Shame Olsen couldn't get the complete game, but hey, eight shutout innings. Probably should have taken him out after that first run allowed, but whatever. I can't believe Rios' Grand Slam wasn't the first highlight play, but there's, I guess, Lo pretty sure Lowell's home run. That was Berkman's. Top of the eight, must have been Grandy. Yeah, certainly was. Bottom of the ninth, final out. Got it, force that second. And you damn right, Olsen is the player of the game. So how many hits did he allow? I don't think, did Lindstrom even allow one? I don't think he did. But hey, you know what? He only allowed two runs when we score four in the first. We're going to win every game. All right, so Olsen handled that lineup pretty well. Taking a look at the stats now. 12-0, Pavano 6-6. Six six. That was what, the amount of runs he gave up? What was it? No, 7. Berkman got a 63rd home run. Rios 38th on a Grand Slam. Lowell got 45. Loduca got 18. Granderson got 47. Lowell and Grand Grandy are staying pretty neck and neck in the home run race. Everyone in the starting lineup got a hit except Luke Scott, but I took him out. He Braun was due up next for batting anyway. Let's see, four RBIs to Rios. Yeah, Rios is the hitter of the game easy, even though he had, what, the one hit? Yeah. Actually, let's look at this. Do we want... Berkman, he was four for five, but only two RBIs. I think you still give it to Rios. Like, a grand slam first inning, like, that's the perfect start to a game. Olsen went eight, allowed two runs. It's whatever. Lindstrom. Yeah, so all those hits were off Scott Olsen, but he got a score to win. They did not score much. Already 87 pitches it took. And through. That's it for the game. We'll take a look at how many points we got. Take a look at around the league. 557. Wow. I guess the Grand Slam, yeah. Uh, let's see. So, Yankees won. Red Sox won. Rays lost. Badly. Where are the Orioles? Orioles won. So, 1-3, and three, whatever. Any interesting games? Tigers and Padres both scored more than us. A real slug out of Petco Park. A pitcher's park. A's were the same. Dodgers scored more. Royals scored more. A lot of tens. Us, the Orioles, the Astros, and the A's. And then you could have gone to Turner Field and saw a 1-0 shutout, which is my kind of game. Alrighty, heading back to the menu now. So that's going to be it for the first game of this series. That went very well. So Doc will be on the mound for the next game. Hell of sure he'll handle this lineup no problem. It's going to be interesting to see how this is shaping up for the All-Star game in quite a while. Because, what was that? That was game 75. So we got yeah, two more against them, the Reds, the Braves. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see, like, even Olsen, too, his hitting performance as a pitcher. We got to see how Doc does next time. I'll see you then for the second game against the Pittsburgh Pirates.